Welcome dear Edward viewers. In the previous session we have discussed about criteria for similarity of triangles. In this session we will discuss about areas of similar triangles. So till now we have learned that when two triangles are similar then the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. But what about their areas? Is there any relation between the ratios of areas and sides of two similar triangles? Well, when two triangles are similar then the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So now let's prove it with the help of a theorem. Now the theorem says that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratios of their corresponding sides. So now let's consider two triangles. Triangle A, B, C, and triangle B, Q, R. Such that triangle A, B, C. Is similar to triangle PQR. Now we have to prove that we have to prove that area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square equal to DC by QR whole square is equal to AC by PR whole square. So to prove that let's join A to BC at point M and P to QR at point M such that AM is perpendicular to BC and PN is perpendicular to U R. Now we know that the area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. Now here area of triangle ABC is equal to half into round triangle ABC the base is BC. So half into BC into the height is AM. So half into BC into AM is the area of triangle ABC. Now similarly area of triangle PQR is equal to half into round triangle PQR basis QR. So half into QR into and height is PN. So half into QR into PN is the area of triangle PQR. Now we will divide area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR. So let's divide it. Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to half into BC into AM by half into QR into PN. So half and half gets cancelled and we can write area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR into AM by PN. And let's name it one. Now, in triangle ABM and triangle PQN, in triangle ABM and triangle PQN, angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle B is equal to angle Q. Since triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQ. Also, angle M is equal to angle N. These both are equal to 90 degrees. So we can write triangle ABN is similar to triangle PQN by double A criterion. Now since triangle ABM is similar to triangle PQN, we can write 
we can write AB by PQ AB by PQ is equal to AM by PN AM by PN and let's name it 2 now we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR so we can write AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by ER and let's name it 3 now from 1 we can write from 1 we can write area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR BC by QR into AM by PN AM by PN now BC by QR is equal to AB by PQ so in place of BC by QR we can write AB by PQ also AM by PN is equal to AB by PQ so in place of AM by PN we can write AB by PQ since AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR and AB by PQ is equal to AM by PN therefore we can write it as area of triangle ABC by area triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ into AB by PQ we can write it as AB by PQ whole square and since AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR which is equal to AC by PR we can write it as BC by QR whole square equal to AC by PR whole square so this is the theorem so I hope you have understood it here very clearly so now let's solve an example using this theorem now in this figure line segment XY is parallel to the side AC of triangle ABC and it divides the triangle into two parts of equal areas and we have to and we have to find a ratio AX by AB so we are given we are given that XY is parallel to AC now in triangle in triangle ABC and triangle XBY angle BXY angle BXY is equal to angle BAC BAC since these are corresponding angles also angle BYX is equal to angle BCA BCA since these are also corresponding angles let me write it down corresponding angles so we can write triangle ABC is similar to triangle XBY by double A criteria now from the earlier theorem we can write using the earlier theorem we can write area of triangle ABC by area of triangle XBY is equal to AB by XB whole square and let's name it as 1 also we are given that we are given that area of triangle XPY 
is equal to is equal to area of ax yc ax yc now area of triangle abc it can be written as area of triangle xpy area of triangle xpy plus area of plus area of ax yc ax yc now it can be written as equal to area of triangle xpy plus now area of ax yc is equal to area of triangle xby so in place of area ax yc we can write area of triangle xpy so it can be written as it can be written as area of triangle abc is equal to twice of area of triangle xby or we can write it as area of triangle abc by area of triangle x dy is equal to 2 by 1 and let's name it as c now now comparing 1 and 2 comparing 1 and 2 we can write ab by xb whole square is equal to 2 by 1 or we can write it as ab by xb is equal to under root 2 by 1 now it can also be written as xb by ab is equal to 1 by root 2 now we multiply both sides by minus 1 So we get minus x p by a b is equal to minus one by root two, and then we add one on both sides. One minus x p by a b is equal to one minus one by root two. Now solving this, we get a b. Minus x p by a b is equal to under root two minus one by under root two. Now a b minus x p. Now a b minus x b is equal to a x. A x. A x by a b is equal to under root two minus one by under root two. Now multiplying under root two. in both numerator and denominator we can write it as 2 minus root 2 by 2 now which is the required ratio that is ax by ab is equal to 2 minus under root 2 by 2 so i hope you have understood it very clearly and your all doubts are cleared regarding this topic well that's all for this session in the next session we will discuss about pythagoras theorem